Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and solve a problem of duplicating a particular uh, button. We're going to be creating a button on the page. So just a simple button around here. When we click it, I want a message to be displayed, but then I also want this button to duplicate. Now, with the duplicate, I'm not going to be using clone. I'm just going to be creating a new element using after and I'm going to be placing the code uh, for a button, so the input type equals button, uh, with the rest of the properties and a particular class next to that. I then want that same uh, class to uh, be clickable and uh, for it to you know, produce another button and, and repeat the process, essentially. So I'm going to go ahead and inside of my, my uh, text editor write out the button. So we'll go ahead and say input type equals button value. I'm just going to say click and I'm going to give going ahead and give this a class and I'm just going to call this duplicate. OK, so when I click on this, I want a message to appear, a dialogue window to appear, um, and then I want to duplicate the button. So just a quick um, overview of what files we're using. Obviously, we've got jQuery.js included, and we've also got ext.js, which is the file that we're going to be working in uh, to append the event handler to this. And we're going to go on to use the live event handler, or the live event handler, however you want to uh, pronounce it, um, or say it. And we're going to be solving the problem, uh, you know, as we can't do this at the moment. So inside ext.js, let's just wait for our document to be ready. So I'm going to say document.ready. And then in here, we're going to go ahead and run the rest of the code inside here. OK, so what do we want to do first of all? Well, we want to go ahead and uh, append on an event handler for any class of duplicate. So let's go ahead and say dot duplicate as our selector, duplicate as our selector. And then I'm going to say dot click. And then inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and run a function. So what do I want to happen when any class duplicate is clicked? I want to go ahead and I want to alert um, you have clicked. Okay. So now when I refresh, uh, the event handler clicked is uh, called, I guess, or we found this uh, click event, and it says you have clicked. Fair enough. But now what I want to do is go ahead and I want to duplicate uh, this input field here. So all I'm going to simply do is I'm going to say this dot after, and then I'm just going to rewrite in the code. So I'm going to rewrite the input class type and the value. So we're going to say input type equals, and that's obviously a button. The value I want to say click, and I'm going to keep the same class as uh, before, which is duplicate. Now the main aim here is we've clicked the duplicate button, the first one of the instance of it on our page. Then we're alerting something out and then we're placing the same code for the same button using the same class afterwards. But the problem that we'll find is this then will we'll not be able to select our new button. Um, and I'll, I'll show you and then I'll tell you why. So I'll click on click, it says you have clicked you can see it's added that code that we specified in here after our current button. When I click this, nothing will happen. And the reason for this is it's been created on the fly, uh, essentially using jQuery, uh, and therefore it's not really you know, part of the page. Like if we view the source of this page, uh, you can see that it only shows one button on here. So what we need to do is we want to use the live event handler that will actually take into account uh, both pre-written you know, page elements and also elements that have been added uh, during our jQuery execution or our jQuery you know, running of our code, if you like. So we'll make a few simple changes. I'll go ahead and just get rid of this. In fact, I'll get rid of all of it. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, this is an extremely simple explanation of the live event handler. There are loads more options. So if you go over to jQuery.com, uh, the documentation will sort of show you a lot more. 